Ordinary citizens like Sam are at the center of co-creation of sustainable transitions in cities around the world. By following routines of ordinary city life, Sam is involved in co-creating the urban food, energy, mobility and water systems of the future. Sam might participate in a living lab if she feels like it, or visit a political meeting or even take part in a bike parade for a more bike-friendly city. Sam is not alone. She does the work of co-creation together with fellow citizens. For sustainable transitions to take hold, it is good to have Sam on board. At least that is what many stakeholders around the world would agree upon today. Companies, city authorities, scientists and NGOs all reach out to Sam and invite her to engage with developing more sustainable alternatives for existing daily practices, like traveling, shopping or eating. However, just inviting Sam is not enough. Different forms of co-creation show different kinds of dynamics and practitioners who work with Sam must inform themselves about her life world. To successfully engage citizens in terms of co-creation, you must get to know them better, not only quickly and superficially. By experimenting with new knowledge and new forms of organization and collaboration, we can really get to know citizens' daily life decisions, desires and routines. Learn about what they do, but also why they do so and how they feel about it in specific cultural and political contexts of their own cities. The different SAMs, as citizens and co-creators, not just of their personal lives but of the urban fabric at large, deserve to be seen and taken seriously by all stakeholders that endeavor to green our cities. So would you vote for erecting a statue for all SAMs in your city?